By exploiting this vulnerability, a hacker can change another user's password without any interaction from the victim. We are talking about BOLA, Broken Object Level Authorization. If you don't know about this vulnerability, let me give you a quick introduction. This vulnerability allows an attacker to manipulate or gain unauthorized access to the objects within the system. It can occur when the authorization mechanisms fail to properly enforce access controls. And through this, a malicious actor can bypass restriction and potentially escalate privileges, modify data or expose sensitive information. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's see a practical demonstration. I have imported an API collection in Postman and I already have registered a user through the registered endpoint and this is the username and password for it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is register another user with the username victim and provide password and email. Now I'm going to copy these details for the victim account in Notepad and copy the details of the first account as well. So you'll be able to understand what's going on. There is an endpoint that allows user to update their password. Over here, we can see the path variable which you can set in Postman to make your task easier. So this path variable username will be replaced by the value test1 when I send the request and the password will be changed. We will just see how this endpoint normally works. The initial password for test1 account is test1, so let's change it to test2 and send the request. The response says signature expired. Okay, so the token is expired already. Log in again to get a new session token and send the request again. So now the password is changed. Let's log in again with the different password. Okay, so this is how this endpoint normally functions. One thing we can notice is that the endpoint is identifying the user according to the username in the URL path. So it identifies whose password needs to be changed according to the username in the URL path. Keep that in mind. Now, what if we change it to different username and change the password in the body? This is the reason why I created another account with the username victim. Here I'm going to change the username to victim and change the password to updated password. So basically what we are trying to do is change the password for another user account that is victim. Send the request and there is no error. Let's update our note. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here and, and the new password is updated password. Let's try to log in to victim's account with the previous password and the response says password is not correct. Means we were successfully able to change the password of another user and this is Bola vulnerability. Now change the password to the updated one and we are logged in successfully. So we were able to perform an unauthorized action because the server doesn't have proper access controls. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.